Hello everyone, this is Dan from Lottie Files, and I'm back with a new tutorial. I'm so glad to introduce you our new plugin for Adobe XD. And today I'm going to show you how you can use the plugin and interact with Adobe XD and After Effects. You will be amazed of the power of this plugin and how it will help you to improve your workflow. So are you guys ready? Let's begin. So let's start here in our Adobe XD file. So let me show you what you will learn today. As you can see, we have our e-commerce app. And let me explain you the interaction. We want that once the user will tap the place order button, this will trigger our animation. So let's see this in action. We tap here, place order. There you go. This is amazing. So let's start everything from scratch. I will close this window. And I already prepared some empty artboards. The first thing we need to do is to add an illustration or an icon. In our case, I will use Icon Scout, which is part of Lottie Files. What I love from Icon Scout that you can find tons of illustrations and animations. And I personally like the Indian Doodle collection. As you can see, this is pretty, pretty cool. And I will select Jumping Guy. So I select this one and I will hit Command V to paste it. Nice. So I can, you know, resize it if I want, or I can just place it over here. Okay, cool. Now, the next thing we will do is to move this illustration to After Effects. And how we do that? I will just go here, select File, and I will choose After Effects. What it will do, it will open After Effects, and it will migrate all the different layers that the illustration has to After Effects. There you go. So, for example, we just need to analyze each one of the layers. And for that, as we cannot see the background, let's add, you know, a background layer. So I'll come here and we can add a solid. Okay, white. And let me put this white solid to the bottom. Nice. Now, so we just need to delete this group layer. I will hit delete. There you go. And I already test this illustration, so I know that all the small things, like the confettis, they are all this. Okay, cool. And I will create a new pre-compose, and I will call it confetti. Nice. And you know, the small guy, we can call it Dan. It will be until here, the rest of the layers. So again, right-click, pre-compose, and I call it Dan. Okay, nice. Now we have our little guy and also the confetti. Just to test. There you go. So now we need to add some keyframes and some animation. So for example, let's start with the confetti. We want that the confetti probably can fall down a little bit. So for that, I will add a keyframe to the position. So once I added the keyframe, maybe I will put it a little app around here, and I'll move the scrubber maybe to two seconds and some frames, and I will just change the position of the confetti till here. Okay, cool. And actually we can use the same, you know, position of the keyframes to add some opacity. So I will add a new keyframe, and in this next one, I will change the opacity to zero. There you go. Also, we can add some easy ease. So I will select all the keyframes and I will put some easy ease there. So let's see how it works. There you go. We can also speed up a little bit. So, you know, just select these two last frames and move it a little bit to the left. Nice. So let's see how it looks now. Perfect. I would just zoom in a little bit the timeline. Okay. Now we can also make this little guy to jump. So the first thing I will do is to add the default position. So I will add a keyframe here. There you go. We can put it a little bit up around here. And we can add a new keyframe you know, just in the middle of these two keyframes. 
So over here we'll make it jump until this point. And here it would just go back to the initial position. Nice. And of course, we can also add some EZs. There you go. So if we will watch the animation now. Sweet. Yeah, we can still play, you know, a little bit with some different things. So for example, I'll move this frame to here. So let's watch it again. Cool. Okay. Maybe we want to make the animation a little bit shorter. So I'll put this over here. This also. Let's see one more time. Nice. And probably the only space that we want to render is this part. So I will drag this. Okay, cool. So let's watch it for one more time. Perfect. Okay, nice. Now we need to use our plugin for After Effects. If you don't have the plugin open, so you just can come here, Windows, Extensions, and choose Lottie Files. If you didn't actually install the plugin, so it's very easy. Just come to Lottie Files slash Plugins After Effects, and we have two links where you can download the plugin. And of course, the same thing for Lottie Files for XD. So if you didn't install the plugin yet, just come here, click over there, and you will be able to download the plugin for Windows or Mac. Okay, let's go back to After Effects. And once you have your animation, you can open the plugin. And as you can see, we have the name of each one of the compositions. In our case, we want to render this one, Comp1, and we can change its name to Final. There you go. Let's wait for a while. I will just change this so we can refresh. And as you can see, we have final here and we hit render. But before, don't forget just to hide the background because it's not necessary right now. We want that the animation can be transparent. So let's hit final. And we just need to wait for a while. And there you go. As you can see, it's working with the alpha channel. Now, there is two different ways we can use this. We can upload it to our Lottie library or we can save as a JSON file. In our case, we just want to upload it to our Lottie library. So I will hit here, just wait for a while. And what is the advantage of loading to our Lottie library? So this is going to my private library and the only thing I need to do is to go back to XD and just take it from there. So now that it finished to upload, let me go back to XD and over here, you can see that this is our illustration still in SVG, but we don't need it anymore. So I will put it just here and I will go to our plugins and I will select Lottie files for XD. So once you enter to our plugins, you can go to my Lottie's. And as you can see in our private library, we have all the different animations. Yeah, right now, probably there is a small bug where you cannot preview your animations, but sometimes it needs just to refresh. In any ways, as you can see, we just uploaded some time ago, so we can select this animation and I will hit insert as Lottie. There you go. So right now, this is a Lottie that we have over here. Okay. Now, let's say like we want to create some prototyping. I will go to prototype and let's select this bottom here. And the only thing I will do is to create a link to this other frame. So once you will tap the button, this will trigger the animation. I will hit play and hit here. There you go. This is beautiful. But not only this, you know, let me show you one more thing. So for example, right now you want to see this animation also in the mobile app and you want to test it, of course. So let me show you here. So right now, as you can see, this is my phone. And I will just hit on the Adobe XD application. We have our screen over here and I will tap into place order. Yeah, and it's so beautiful to see that you can actually test real animations in the desktop and also in the mobile app. There's still many things we can do with the plugin. 
there is so, so many examples that I'm sure you will enjoy. If you want to learn more, you can go to our Lodifies slash blog. And over there, we wrote a post where we explain all the different things you can do with the plugin. Plus, we're also sharing the exercise file in Adobe XD and After Effects. So you just need to click here and you will be able to have all the different exercises that you can watch on the video and the exercise that we just showed you. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here and I really hope you love the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.